What's up guys? It's Josh with Upstate Brush Control. So we're out here at uh, close by uh, Table Rock State Park. You can see Table Rock right there. We've done work for them in the past. Um, we forced them all, all that hill back there and done all kinds of stuff. He, uh, he plants tea and processes it and stuff. But anyways, so he wants pretty much all of these trees taken out. Um, I got my fire started this morning. It took forever, but it's finally, it's finally going somewhat. <laughs> but all those broad for pears are going to come out. Um, and there's a lot of trees coming out over there. But he wants me to focus by this um, barn shed thing right now. So I'm mean, working over here. He wants all the stumps out on all these. So I mean, this one, this one, some big trees in here coming out. So I think they want some kind of like shop or something in here to sell their tea, tea and stuff. So, some of these will have to be chainsawed out. I'll probably chainsaw out this one. Just because I don't want to mess up the, get the root ball to mess up the slab on this shed. And these, these will have to be chainsawed out. And I think, get like a stump grinder in there to grind the stumps or something. But, yeah, Willie and Micah are, over there, way over there, doing some forestry mulching. Uh, John is in California on a mission trip this week, so um, yeah, got a lot to keep us busy in the next couple days. So I'll try to keep you guys updated and how things are going. So. All right, so what I've been doing is, if I can get a piece out of it, like a real quick 16 foot, I'll do that and I'm throwing it over here so I don't have to burn it. And then um, I'm gonna put the stumps aside for now until I get the fire hot enough to burn them. And then um, throwing everything else right in the fire. So that's what I'm doing.
I'm gonna cut this one out real quick. That's the one that's too close to the building. Right there. guys stay two here trying to get the fire hot um been struggling trying to get it it's going but it's not as hot as i want it to be so i ended up putting a little bit more diesel on it need to add some stuff as you can see but i got the excavator got a rope on it mike is coming over to help me pull over the sweet gum right here Got a rope in it just to be safe. But so that one's getting cut out, and these two. So got a little helmet mount. I put you guys on that. Let's see how that goes. There's Micah. So. We'll see how it goes. Shooting it right here. But, yeah. All right, not sure what happened with that video. I guess I didn't start it or something, but I got this one down. Uh, this one's next. It's got a heavy lean on it. So, I'm just gonna wedge it over.
Got it. <laughs> Shed's still there. All right. Woo. So I'm gonna cut that out and then um, I'll get a couple logs out of it and then burn the rest. Mikey came over here. He's helping me stoke the fire. So yeah. All right, get this bad boy cut up real quick. All right, y'all, we got a rope here. I got up on a tray up there. Yes, sir, she's tight. Woo! Yeah, I'll do that, man. You just worry about the excavator. Get your track straight with me right here. Extend your boom out. Woo! Yeah, man! What you talking about? Cinch that up real good. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. 
Oh yeah, man. Just wait there. This right here, I don't want my the butt of the tree hitting into it and bouncing off up there. <laughs> Too bad. <sighs> yeah. If you guys couldn't tell, I really like cutting down trees, so. <laughs> Anyways, so that's gone. Good job, Mike. May have uh, smoked a little beech tree that he kind of wanted to keep, but uh. Sorry, buddy. <laughs> oh, yeah. Got it. What's going on, y'all? All right, here we are. <laughs> Day three. Uh, more trees to cut down. So, we got this uh, uh, maple, maybe. Maple, some kind of maple. Uh, 
um, got a rope in it because leaning real hard towards the barn so got Mike in the mini uh, set up the cam real quick yeah it's, uh, great footage right there all right sorry about that GoPro battery died on me hey I'll set you right here by the paint cans That's that right there, man. Tell you what. Yeah. All right, so I'm on the roof here at the back of the shed. It's, you can tell it's a roof. There's a lot of leaves on it. Um, this tree right here that grew into the roof. So I can't cut it down there. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut it pretty high right here. And so it'll miss the corner right here. Hopefully, that's the goal. That's the goal here. Also wrote this one. Um, it should go. And then I'll cut it lower to the roof. And then go down there. Cut it again. This one should go. I'll probably cut this one next. That one should fall. Right there. So. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> pretty good little uh just, just a little bend just a little bit just a little oh yeah can't even tell <laughs> oh yeah good work mike let me uh drop this one real quick also while i'm here all right let's do it let's do it let's do it
that way. All right, it's going pretty good. Got Willie helping me, Micah helping me. It's just rolling right along here. So got those cut. He's gonna have a stump grinder come in and hit these for him. We're not gonna pull those out, obviously. Um, so I'm just working my way back. Um, these can get cut too. They don't have to have the root ball out of them. So that'll be nice. But Mike is gonna help me push over these little ones, this little pine and stuff like that. And I'll probably work around that poplar right there. And then come up here, mount a little stand. So you can't smoke that. That's coming out. So these, the root ball will come out on these trees. Just these one, two, three, four. Um, Cause he's extending this building back. There's like a flag there and that over there. So it's not super wide. It's like 20 feet, something like that. So those stumps are staying. And then it'll just be these stumps. And then, yeah, I'll keep working back this way. Willie's going to start forestry mulching back here. Um, we got to save everything that's standing pretty much through here. He wants the pines out. So once F Willie forestry mulches it, um, I'm gonna go in and cut out. There's some pines in there that he wants out. So, oh, Mike is waiting for me. Uh oh, <laughs> better go. <laughs> I'll give you an update when those are down. I can't really find a good place to put the camera. <laughs> Moving right along. I'm saving these two till we clean up all the, all those out there. Cause this one needs to go first. It's a big poplar. And then I'll drop this pine right about there. So we're gonna clean this up. Got all these stumps ripped out that we need to get. Mike has got one more. What we're doing is he I'm cutting all this stuff up. And Mike is throwing it up here. I'm gonna get in the 130 and start moving some of these piles to the fire for him. I wanna get some of this brush cleaned up before we cut any more down. And uh that one's next. Got a rope in it already. So, yeah, making good progress, I think. It's, it's really nice having help, not working by myself. <laughs> but. Yeah, man! Woo! <laughs> All right, so this is kind of the last tree that's um, right on the barn. It's hanging over it real bad, so I got the rope. Mike is pulling straight out that way. I'm gonna shoot for this, but it's probably gonna fall right about there. So, I'm gonna do my face cut and then just barely, barely touch the back, and he's gonna just start pulling it over. go right there and it kind of fell right there and jumped over but hey man he gone <laughs> he really wants to stump out but it's so close to that foundation right there I don't know might start pulling on a little bit and 
see what it does, but yeah, not a good good amount of hinge there. <laughs> so clean this up and keep cutting down trees, man. Alright guys, give you a little update. Um I've been cutting all these poplar because I just don't like how you can lose control. When you're pushing the machine, it's sometimes the roots will catch a certain way and I'll just swing the wrong way and I don't want to have any chances of it hitting the barn. So I was just cutting it and then we'll go back and get the stumps. So if I can do it with the excavator, I will, but I think it's safer to cut it. You can, you can put it right where you want it. So back here, it's about done. Um, there was a red oak right there. That one came out. I think it might be this poplar next. <coughs> And then bring Mike over here to help me with that pine. It was leaning pretty hard. But this poplar should go without any help. Let's put it straight that way. Um, I need to ask him about these trees in here. I can get that sour wood out, but this big old poplar he wants out, I can't get it. No way I can get it this way because it bust up all those. He wants to keep that white oak right there. I'll bust up all those limbs. I mean, there's one right there. So no really clear shot, but I'm down in the woods. And then we be busting up all kinds of little trees that go on that way. So I need to ask him about this one. And that one should be bad. And he wants that hemlock out. I don't know why, but yeah, just a little update. I might get the um, 395 again on these bigger ones. There's a couple big ones over there, so a little more power. But yeah, it's coming along. Willie, um, Willie's been working on the fire and. He's a lot better than I am at getting it hot. So he gave me some pointers. But he's been, you know, messing with it and it's it's hot now. So he was just for mulching and now he's just kind of one third to feed the fire because after three o'clock you're not really supposed to add stuff on the fire. So we usually like put a good bit on before that and then let it burn down so yeah it's coming along a lot of trees a lot of trees So it turns out it was hollow. That's always nice. <laughs> but there she is. I'll probably not take any more videos of me cutting down trees. <laughs> Don't want to guys make you guys bored or anything, but